Abigail Urban. And I'm Delcina Sawyer. And this is the Marian Catholic News. For the second week of November 2022. Greetings Spartans. Today is Tuesday, November 7th and it is election day. If you are old enough to vote, please get out and exercise your right to do so. It's important that you cast your vote to determine the future of our nation. Speaking of important, Abby, the Marian Catholic Marching Band is heading down to Indianapolis this weekend to take part in Grand Nationals. They'll be competing against bands from all across our nation. According to the Grand Nationals website, Marian Catholic is scheduled to perform at 1.30 on Friday. As we change periods that day, let's all send our prayers to help our band have another successful competition. This past Sunday, Marion Catholic hosted its second open house of the year, and we would like to thank all the parents and future Spartans that attended. But don't think that this is the last time you can come and visit our campus. We are accepting shadow visits at any time. For more information, check out the admissions section of our website. We are also accepting applications for the class of 2027 right now. Head to our website and fill out the application and pre-register for the entrance exam that will be held on December 3rd. Hope to see all of you soon. Attention students, this week is the last Spartan Gold Raffle Collection for the year. Get those tickets sold and get that money in this Wednesday. We really want to hit our goal of $200,000 so we can get the Wednesday off before Thanksgiving. It's up to all of us to get that done. The Queen of Hearts Raffle is back. Join us tonight and every Tuesday as we try to find the Queen. This year's drawing takes place at Lassen's Tap in Homewood at 7.30. The current jackpot is $11,000. Did you like Elf the movie? Would you like to see Elf the musical? Mary Catholic is hosting a spirit night to attend the musical at Drury Lane Theater on Friday, December 9th. Tickets are $75 and include a ticket for the play as well as transportation and an Elf-themed dinner. And if Elf is, is near, does that mean cold weather is as well? Let's head over to weather to find out. Thanks, Abby. Well, unfortunately, that Elf is going to bring some cold weather with him. Temps are going to fall quickly this week from a high in the 70s on Thursday to the mid and lower 20s on the weekend. It will stay dry this week with gusty winds on Friday, signaling the arrival of the cold winter. We knew the warmth of the summer couldn't last forever, Spartans, so dust out those hats and gloves and get ready for winter. And now over to sports. The Marian Catholic football earned a bid to the Prep Bowl this past Friday, but the results were not what we hoped for. St. Patrick defeated the Spartans 41-24. Our women's volleyball team season also came to an end with a loss to Joliet Catholic in the sectional semifinals. A great job by both teams this season. In pro sports, the Bears suffered another loss in a high-scoring game against the Dolphins. A late drive proved unable to cash in and the Bears lost 35-32. And baseball season has finally ended with the Houston Astros taking home the World Series trophy. And back to you, Abby. And finally... Del Delcina? Delcina? Delcina! Why are you sleeping? The chairs are really comfy. Okay. And I'm Abigail Urban. And I'm Delcina Sawyer. And this is the Marian Catholic News. <laughs> for the second week of November 2022. See you next time.